How's it going everyone? Welcome to Rad's. Finally back at the world famous city ground. It's been about three months since I've been here. I'm honestly so pleased to finally be out of my room doing a video and here, you know, second home pretty much. So I'm really excited to be back at a game, only a friendly, yes, but it should be a really good test. I think it's the first proper test we're going to get a pre-season, obviously Olympia cost to come. I think other than those two, it's, we haven't really got a, a proper test yet. No disrespect to the teams we already play, but I think those two are like on another level, you know, Villarreal Olympia cost. So it should be a good way of gauging where we're at and it's just nice to see us so far a settled team and a much better atmosphere around the club going into this season so I'm looking forward to the season and, and this game just being back at football honestly so if you do enjoy this vlog with plenty of vlogs this season of course please make sure you don't miss out by liking and subscribing to the channel we're nearly very close to 6,000 subscribers the bigger the channel gets the better it can continue to get as well so yeah Thank you everyone, up the Reds. All right, Rad Dad. Hello, son. All right, it's Toby, here we are with Elliot. Good evening. <laughs> Pre-season today, how do you see it going? I'm here with a jar of marmalade on my YouTube comments. We are back in our spiritual home. And by the way, happy birthday today. 20, Thank you. 23 years old today. Yeah. Uh, yes, today's game, it's pre-season friendly, Villarreal, very good side. When did they win the, was it the Europa League? They won the Europa League a few years ago. 21? Yeah. Four. I don't know, I'm not very sure about the score if I'm being completely honest. I'll go 2-1 Forest, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't know much about Villarreal's background at all really. But, um, but just with Forest, I'm quite happy with the pre-season that they've done, the signings they've made. I'm actually pretty confident to go into this season. I just hope for a good performance, that's all, from all our team. And one person in particular, Ibrahim Sangare, I just really want him yeah. to do well. Because like my red hot take for this season is he'll be a contender for player of the season. Uh, I'm going to say 1-1. One, one. How about yourself? Well, I, I mean, I'd take the draw. I mean, it doesn't really matter in a friendly, but I think it's more forward. It's good to see that in every position, we have got a very good backup. We've got some really good players this season, and I predict, and you heard it here first, we're going to finish something like 14, 12, 13, 14. You know, if we get top 10, I'm happy, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking it would be 12, 13, maybe, maybe 14, 15, maybe, but I'm thinking we're going to be a high end. You know why I'm on here. You want today's, Absolutely. tonight's fact of the day. Do you? Yes, go for it. Okay, the first ever breast implants were wool. And right. And basically, they didn't work because, could you imagine the complaints about itchy boobs? Um, I, I mean, I, I can't say I have imagined that. New away shirt, what's your thoughts? Quality. Lovely. Yeah. I love pink on shirts. Great season last year, on same coats, lovely. Yeah. I think a draw. I think 1-1, one, 2-2, one, two, two, something like that. Because they any, are a very good, good result. result will be a good result against yeah. them, I think. Yeah, because you've got to... I mean, I don't know if they're swapping at half time a different 11. I, I have a feeling they probably won't do that for these no. last two because they're more high end. So yeah. I think it's going to be a good game tonight. I'm going really to show how good we are and just look forward to the next season. Yeah. What good season should say? Yeah. But yeah, I'm looking forward to Me too. Yeah. Of the Reds. The Reds. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Thank you, Elliot. Many um, more this season. <laughs> there we go. Come on, you Reds. You Reds. <laughs> Glad to be back. You Reds, come on. The Reds. Look the Reds, mate. Thank you. So, with Forest now having new seating being installed, I now have an even worse view of the screen. Because it's over there. Behind that scaffolding, from my view. What a replay. Forest team is pretty much the same players we saw last season, minus Milenkovic, a few new lads on the bench, Zach Abbott still on the bench. I'm looking forward to seeing the likes of Anderson and Moreira make their debuts at the City Ground. Villarreal. 
not been anything too spectacular or exciting. A few good chances. Um, putting balls into the box first time, which we don't always see. Woods had a couple of good chances. The biggest moment of the half by far was Sell saving that penalty. That's definitely been him good in keeping his spot. And I think he deserves to stay as number one. I think that's Miguel. So I don't think we should be bringing in a goalkeeper to be first choice. I think Soldiers has proven it right there. What do you think to that? Um, there were some moments. Uh, Wood, Woody's effort was very good. It's a shame that he didn't get a, a score with that. Yeah. Sells excellent penalty save, an absolute cracker. I know he, he didn't stop it, but he went the right way. He, he probably would have got it. Oh, no, you know. Yates, Dominguez, Anderson, new number eight as well. Marrera, Toffolo coming up. Could have won it right at the end, but it's a good workout for us. We'll take a draw. Full time, then it was not the best game in the world really is not a game that's going to live long in the memory but it was a good test against a good team who you know consistently get top six top seven in the league so we can't really be too disappointed in it could have won it at the end with Tyro it was a better second half I think we had a few decent chances throughout the game really um, Sells kept us in it by saving that penalty I think he should still be on the morning in my opinion there isn't anything wrong to lose it. If Miguel's good then great but I think it's Sol's place to lose in my opinion. Um, obviously a completely different team by the end of the game minus Danilo. Um, Zach Abbott getting a go at the end. Really impressed with Anderson when he came on. Um, very versatile, could be a very useful player. Marrera got a chance as well. So yeah honestly I'm really encouraged with where we're at at the moment and I uh, still think we need a couple of players probably another striker, unless Silva's going to be used though, he obviously wasn't involved today. Probably another centre-back, to be honest. Joe Wall wasn't even involved today, so I think a centre-back's going to be needed if you're going to play three at the back especially. But other than that, honestly, I think we're, for once, going into a season before it's even started, we're looking pretty set, so that's a really nice feeling, honestly. It's something we haven't been used to for a long time, to be honest, so... Yeah, honestly, it's just great to be back at the city ground, seeing so many people again and just being at a game again. Honestly, it's been great. So, plenty of vlogs coming up this season. Actual competitive games, of course. So, stay tuned to the real stuff as it unfolds. I'll be covering the away ones as well. So, stay tuned to all that. We're very close to 6,000 subscribers. So, please help us out by subscribing and liking the video. Up the reds. Thanks for watching.